Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. In this week's tip, I'm going to go over creating a code. We'll start by going to your list menu in the top left corner and down to service code list. The service code list is going to give you a listing of all of the different types of codes that you have in your system. Condition code, an actual service code like fee for service, or even an adjustment code. We'll start by creating a new service code that's going to be a specific type of patient refund. Some offices prefer to specify the refunds based on how they're refunding the patient. So here's your opportunity to go ahead and do so if you would like to as well. The most important factor here is that in our code type, we select the appropriate option. When it comes to issuing a patient refund, our appropriate option is going to be based on how we're paying the patient back. Since a patient payment comes in in the form of check or cash or even credit card, we're going to refund them in those same ways. So the type of code I'm creating is going to be based on patient check, cash, or credit. We'll go ahead and choose patient credit card payment. I know it says payment in this section, but when using it from the refund button under issue patient refund, it becomes a negative payment, which makes sense if you're giving money back to the patient. It's not an adjustment to the actual procedure code itself. It's actually a, a payment that you took in that you are giving back. So in the description line, I'm going to go ahead and type patient refund via credit card. And in my code abbreviation section, I'm just going to put CC refund. Now we can save our changes for that code, and then we could go ahead and create a new service code that would be a patient refund via check if we'd like. So we could put CK refund. Description would be patient refund via check. And then the type of code we would be creating would be a negative patient check payment, which of course the system is set up to handle in and of itself by using that issue patient refund button from the patient's ledger, which would show up right here on their ledger section. So if I go there real quickly, we have the opportunity to choose our refund code here, which we would choose either our credit card refund or our check refund, and then put our appropriate amount under the refund column. If you need further assistance regarding issuing a patient refund, please look up our YouTube video for issuing the patient refund. Moving forward, if we go back to create a new service code, I can create a fee-for-service code like selling a toothbrush or perhaps some sort of product by selecting either fee-for-service or other fee. If we choose fee-for-service, if this were, for example, a toothbrush, you'd want to go ahead and put that in the other category and not necessarily attach an appointment length to that product. Treatment area can be defaulted as the mouth, and if it's a code that you do not wish to bill to the insurance, you simply select do not bill to insurance. We'll plug in the description here, electric toothbrush, and perhaps my abbreviation for that code would be ECTB for electric toothbrush and save our changes. You'll notice in your system that there are some defaulted codes that show up. There's options for metal try-in, delivery of denture. These are what I like to call dummy codes that are not necessarily codes you would bill to the insurance but that you'd like to track in your system. You can create those just as easily by selecting a new service code and the type here is going to be dependent on what kind of code you're creating there, so it may be a fee-for-service under the other category, or perhaps maybe you'd put it in with your removable prosthetics if this were some sort of try-in or seat appointment. Plug in your description and an abbreviation. You can select appointment length if you are using the codes to attach to your appointments and letting those decide how long the appointments will be. Treatment area. You can choose surface, tooth, root, mouth, or quadrant. And once again, if we're not necessarily attaching a fee to this, we can put do not bill to insurance if it's not an insurable code anyway. And in the fee amounts, you'll notice here is all of our fee schedules. 
and you would simply plug in what you're charging per fee schedule. For example, the UCR, you may actually charge $20 to the patient, but under the information tab, have it be an uninsurable item. We can also create different condition codes to add to our list a little bit further. So if we scroll down here, you can see that we've got cracked tooth, impacted mesial, etc. Fractured post is C0017 for that condition code. If you wanted to put in a condition code for supernumerary tooth so that you could chart that in the patient's chart and attach a button to it, we would select a new service code first, put in perhaps C0018 so that it shows up in the same section as your other condition codes, and in the description just type in the condition you're placing here. Now the type of code we would be creating in this scenario would of course be a condition. So we're going to select condition here. Once you choose the code type, it gives you some additional options to select. The treatment area for a supranumerary tooth may be specified by a particular tooth number, although keep in mind in the charting it's going to want you to select an existing tooth. So the existing tooth you select may simply point in the direction of the supranumerary tooth and where that exists in the patient's mouth. I'd go ahead and choose tooth here and then in the charting tab down towards the bottom I'd select a drawing type to indicate on my odontogram something that would lead me to recognize that that's a supranumerary tooth. So maybe the circled root or even highlighted number and then we can save our changes. Once you've put the new code in your system you can create that as a button in the chart. You can use it to post to the patient's ledger and attach it to the appointments, or depending on the type of code you've created, use it as an adjustment code. If you have any further questions on how to create different types of codes, please feel free to contact Dentmax at 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.